Guys, regarding welcome to another block tech tips. Today I'm gonna show you how to app permissions, how to control app permissions. All right, so let's get right into it. So as I was saying, I'm gonna show you guys how to basically control app permissions. So if you have uh, want to know which apps have access to certain personal information on your phone, like access to your messages or access to um, phone logs and so on, you can actually control this in Android 6.0 and above. So as you can see here, I have my Android device. So if you go into settings, you go down to about, you'll notice that I'm actually running um, Android 6.0. So this feature is only um, available in Android 6.0 and above. All right. In order to control app permissions, all you have to do is go into settings. Remember on every device, this is going to be a little bit different. So once you go into settings, you're going to go down and you're going to search for um, apps. Uh, I've already scrolled down, so I just have to find it here. All right. So once you go into apps, you should be at a screen like this, showing you the apps on the phone. Now, you're either going to click the menu option or the settings option. As I said, it might be a little bit different. So you can see here this little gear option here. I'm just going to tap on it. And as you can see here, it shows your app permissions. All right. So you're going to tap on app permissions. So this is in Android 6.0 and above. And here you have all the main aspects of the phone and it shows how many apps have access to these areas. So for example, the camera on your phone, it shows that there are 11 apps that um, three of 11 apps are allowed. So you can actually go into camera here and you can notice it says that the camera has access to the camera. Um, gallery has access to the camera, which makes sense. Google Play services and so on and so forth. So if there's something in here that you don't want to grant access to the camera, for example, Google Play uses the camera, uh, might use the camera, for example, um, for various reasons or let's find another relevant example, um, your phone logs. So backup is going to need to access your phone logs because it might need to back up your logs so next time you restore contacts uses it in case you need to add a picture to a contact and so on so let's say for example you did not want um, music to have access to um, your phone logs uh, that's considered in your um, to you as strange behavior you can actually revoke permission so you know, tap on it and as you said here you can just go ahead and deny so by doing that i've just revoked access of music to my personal phone logs all right so this is basically you can toggle it back on and you see it will come on so if you have a particular app that you think might be stealing your data you don't want it to see your um, phone logs for example let's say a video game like this one if it has access to your logs and you don't want it to have access to your logs you can actually revoke it by tapping the button here in permissions all right guys so this has been a quick method to use to actually give apps or grant apps permission to various aspects of your phone all right so you can basically see which apps want access and which you have already granted permission and if you like you can actually stop particular apps from gaining access to your for example messages and so on so this is a new security feature built or baked into android 6.0 that you can actually make use of. Alright guys, so if you have liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, just give us a thumbs down. Also, please leave a comment or two. And just give us um, some feedback how well we are doing so far. Alright guys. Also, our sponsors, thank our sponsors Gearbest for providing um, this um, smartphone. It's the Ocotel U7 Plus. And also, we have um, teamed up with Oskator. All you have to do is put in this coupon code. That's typed exactly as seen here on screen. And just type it in exactly and you'll get up to 30% off when you buy any hosting from Hostgator. Alright guys, please just show those companies some love. It's Ricardo saying bye until next time. So, bye.